I am the first art historian speaking here. So my aim will be the one of helping the students in becoming Venetians for a few months. I would like to explain them how can we consider Venice not a happy isolated island as they thought in the past, but a place that thanks to its maritime activities, the trading of its inhabitants, and the fact that they were so wealthy for such a long time, became really the cradle of an extraordinary artistic civilization, in which many different suggestions, inputs, coming both from the Middle East, from Byzantium, but also from Egypt, from the Turks, and in the meantime, from the north of Europe, Flanders, low countries, German, Germany, have, has really got the opportunity of being an ancient melting pot a place where everyone could come with his own culture, could survive, could give an important contribution to the society, to the development of arts, much more than we can really imagine. Recent exhibitions about Venice and Egypt, Venice and the Islamic world, Venice and Armenians, and next door there is the island of San Lazaro, that is one of the most relevant Armenian places all around Europe, is a good witness. But we have the first Jewish ghetto. We have settlements from the Turks, from the Dalmatians, from, you know, whatever. Whoever came here was not a foreigner. But uh, step by step, he was included within the Venetian society. So really, I'm really very pleased to have uh, this opportunity of teaching a course that is you know, a bit far from my, ma my main interests, uh, considering that basically I'm a philologist. My specialty is uh, Titian, Titian drawings, uh, prints, uh, and something like that. And of course, in a wider um, approach, the Venetian Renaissance art. But it is the first time in which, thanks to the program of VIU, I have the opportunity of looking at the same topics of my traditional interests since the far away 78, when I graduated. Now I have to look at my interests in a different way. So I am really very grateful to uh, Professor Micheli who gave me this uh, opportunity. And uh, I hope that uh, through our lectures in class, uh, our discussions about preservation, tourism, and its impact on the fragile uh, situation of a city like Venice, uh, they uh, extraordinary intervention of uh, the UNESCO private committees uh, for the safeguarding of Venice. Uh, many different aspects of uh, the uh, possible good survival of Venice. Good, I mean uh, in uh, a cultural approach, in a wider approach, and especially with the students uh, who come from such different places traditions and formation, I think that it will be challenging, but I hope that at the end of my course, they will understand how difficult, but how pleasant at the same time can, the fact, uh, can be the fact of being a Venetian, of living in Venice. So thank you for uh, your patience and your attention. Thank you for the privilege I have uh, in surpassing everyone <laughs> before me. And uh, I hope that you will enjoy my course. Thank you.